Hi everyone, in this video I go show you how to change the hard drive in an Ace Aspire Revo 3700. All you need is two screwdrivers and we're gonna start with unscrewing this screw as you can see and then we just gonna try to pry apart the cover the two covers as from you each can other. See, I removed the screw, it's over there. Um, before we try to pry the cover, the covers apart from each other, make sure you don't have any USB devices remaining stuck in. For example, you know the wireless transmitter for the keyboard and so on. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna try to pry the cover apart exactly at this part with a thin knife. All I have done is I just take the thin knife into the cover and as you can see I just heard one little crack and you, you can see it's a little bit apart and now try to stick my fingers in it and just pry it apart mm. try to place my mobile in a way so you can see what I'm doing but I'm not sure it's gonna no it's not gonna work anyway try to stop halfway and uh, take another snapshot put the knife in again and then apply a little bit more force You go, you can see. You see, there's a, a little gap along this side, and now I'm just gonna grab that cover and just basically rip it off the rest. Right, so, I've like successfully took the cover off. Um, and what we're gonna do now, we need to remove a few screws and the USB which is where the actual turn on button is on the back side of the you can see there is a um, standby button so we can need to remove this you can see there is one clip on this side and one on the other yeah so what we're gonna do is because it's also connected with little pins underneath there just try to lift it a little bit while taking lifting a bit while pushing this pin away from the board it's quite hard with one hand oh but here we go I removed it I'm just gonna put it aside yeah that's done so all we need to do now is remove four screws one there one there Basically, the each of the corners of the motherboard, because the hard drive itself is screwed from the from from the underside of the motherboard. So just gonna undo those four screws, and as you can see, I've undone all the four screws. And what I'm gonna do is gently screwdriver lift this end of the motherboard like that, and then. When you lift it, you need to slide it that way just because, as you can see, the VGA connector is sticks out a bit through the uh, cover, so we just need to move it that way and then just lift it. But don't force it too much because, as you can see, these two tiny wires for the virus and uh, uh, thing they are still connected to the, to the rest of the pieces, so we're not gonna lift the whole motherboard out we're just gonna tilt it like that so now i screw back the motherboard you know just one thing don't you forget when you put back the motherboard always insert this vga connection just push it through the uh, thin side of the cover and then put the rest flat rest of the motherboard flat and then you know when you are putting back the USB connection here make sure all the pins are connected okay and the last advice when you put back the back cover or top cover cover when you are clipping it in always push the thin thinner wall push the thin wall in while you are pushing the top cover on and that way it's gonna 
click pro click in proper and there will be no gaps around the you know the cover all right so that's how it is done uh, should, uh, soon I'm gonna make a video on uh, how to clone uh, your old uh, windows well old your how to clone windows 7 64 from a um, standard hard mechanical hard drive to an SSD so keep watching my channel